Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Book of Shadows. I um, hope everyone is doing well. Um, how was your day? Um, and today I've got a unboxing to show you that I've been waiting for a while. Um, this is a cult box for last month, um, so it's just in this box. I have not opened it yet, um, so yes, yeah, for November. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. It only came today, so I'm going to open this and show you what's inside. Um, but before I do, um, I think this box is, um, I think it's £23.30, I think. Um, so yeah, that is, but I will leave the information in the description down below, in case you want to go check them out for yourself, if you don't get the box already. No, I was trying to think, I've been getting this box for quite some time now, it must be in maybe a year, I think, I think it's been a year, I can't, I think my first box for a cult box was April, I think it was April, my first box for a cult box, which was last year, so yeah, it's probably been a year, but I'm just a bit struggling to open this box, um, I don't know which is the top actually, um, I'm not too sure, so do bear with me. I'm going to try and open it this side, actually. A bit better. <coughs> oh, gosh. Um, I think I do have a, another unboxing to come. Um, well, I do have some for this month. Um, but I am struggling. Well, I'm not saying struggling, but um, I'm hoping to get the boxes for this month. Um... But the other box I've got coming is a crystal one from TikTok shop, but that will be on my other channel, which is Moon Magic Enchanted, if you follow that one. Um, I could leave the links in the description, if I can. Right, trying to finally open this box. I don't know if this is the top or not. So I'm just going to open it now. I think it's the top, because it's got all the frilly stuff on top. Um, I'm not sure what this theme was, I'm not too sure. So, on top, it looks like this, with all the, um, what, squiggles and that. So I'm going to take this off, um, um, and it's got some black tissue paper as well. Mm, okay, so I'm not sure what to pick first, but let's see what this is. Um, okay, there's... Um, okay, the theme is Beautifully Macherb, I think that's how you pronounce it, Beautifully Macherb, I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's, it's about M-A-C-A-B-R-E, right there, it's like a little print, on the back it says what's inside the little box, which I will not read, I will go through after, so, um, okay, so the theme is on top. Is a little black box like this, and it says "little box of what's that? Oddities of curiosities, um, history, folklore." I think it says. Um, let's open this. I don't know if it's like a one-way thing. Um, oh, oh, cool. Okay, so this looks cool. Um, okay, so in the box we have some. In a jar, a hawthorn, which looks pretty, like, awesome and cute. I love collecting these little jars as well, bits of money. So that's hawthorn in there. And then you've got a jar of, uh, am I trying to read that writing on there? Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it says something stems, I think. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's, uh, it's not very clear, is it? I don't know if you can read that right. And um, it's really hard to see what that is. But I've never seen that before. Whatever it is, I'm gonna have to um, see what it says. If it says on the uh, information, but and we have some three crystals. Um, they're raw, and I think it's obsidian. Um, if I just quickly show you, there's three pieces, so just three black pieces like this, so just three black pieces, if 
like that. So it's like raw obsidian. And then also is um, in this little pouch bag there is um, let me just get this out so it is. Um, wow, um, I'm not sure. It looks like a tooth or something, like teeth. Or oh, it could be some like bones or something. It's got like a skull on it. It's like a little. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, like that. I don't know if the lighting's very good, but it's um. I've never seen anything like that before. So there's that. This is what was in that box, um, which I think is quite cool because I've never had like something like this before. So I'm just going to put this back in the box um, so it's tidy. Um, I can see fit back in. <laughs> um, that to, put that to the side. Okay, next. Oh, what's this? Um, it says scores roses uh, oh matchbook nail files hmm? okay i'm gonna open it it's in a bit of packaging um, um so open up hmm oh okay that's cool um it's um as it says nail files so this matchbook nail files oh as you can see, it's like this, a score on its nail files, which I think that's pretty cute. I like that, it's not different, but it's really nice, cool. <laughs> it looks so pretty, I probably wouldn't want to use them. Um, so there's that. Um, what else do we have? I'll leave that bit to last. Oh, we have, oh, it's not stuck together, I think. Oh, is that, okay. So this is some um, black coffee, which I do not like coffee. So I could give this away if anyone likes coffee. It just says black coffee, it says worship. We like our coffee, how we like our metal. And it says here, um, it's got their website, Black Coffee Workshop. It's got Facebook, Instagram, and their website. Um, so it says Black Coffee Workshop. That's what it looks like. And it says Black Coffee Worship. And it says the 666 blend. It says it's ground, not beans, it's ground. And it just shows it like that. So, I mean, that's cool. Something different instead of, you know. I mean, I don't think they usually do tea. I don't know. But they've done coffee. But I don't like coffee. So, if anyone likes coffee, let me know in the comments. Um, but if you live in the UK, that'd be fine. Because um, I probably won't be able to ship further away. So. Or I can just give it to a family member or someone who else likes coffee. I don't know. Um, so, oh, uh, oh, I don't know what to get next. I'll get this one, it's quite a biggish one. Oh, hang on, look there. I'll grab these two first. Oh, okay, so, oh, that's nice. We have, um, I think, I think it's an eyebrow plucker. Um, it's got skulls on that. And it's like a plucker thing, but it's got a thing on there to keep it together. As you can see, it's like a plucker thing. Like this. So it's like a skull on it and the bottom of it is like pluckers. So yeah, there's those. And also with that is some nail polish and it's like a dark red with a skull shape and a hat, which is pretty cool how, how the nail polish is. So it's like that, what does it say on that? Um, nail polish, um, vernis and ongles, natural lack, oh, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would open it and smell it, but it's obviously nail polish. Don't really like the smell of nail polish. There's that. And then this one is all wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, and I don't know what it is, but it looks really cool. Oh, I think it might be a mug, actually. Maybe, I don't know. It says skulls and roses, but it says planter. So hang on. Oh, a small planter. Oh, petite pot. Ah, so it's like a petite pot pour. Pour. Okay, so it's, sorry, I'm like not showing you, but it's, it says skulls and roses, and it's like, like this, I don't know if you can see that, because the lighting is not very good, I should have put my um, ring light on, let's open this, um, yeah, so it's not a mug, um, it's 
to put like something in there, like a plant or puree stuff. And this is what, oh, why does it look so dark? That's so annoying. Um, it looks like when you go further away. So if you can see that, it's like sort of red and black on there. Um, if I go closer, I don't think you can. Oh, you might be able to see now a little bit. So yeah, just like that, with no handle, it's a plant pot thing. So that's cool, like that. Put it back in there. And I'll put that to the side with the bubble wrap and colourful things. Okay, I think there's one more thing. Um, I think, I think that's the last thing. It looks like a bag, I think. Another bag, cool. Um, and on this bag, oh cool, it's just, it's like a bone. So the, it's like the picture on here. It is that on the bag, and a nice clear, well, a cream bag. So it's like that, and it's got a crop box on the end. So another one of those bags, which is cool. Um, I think that's everything in the box actually. So um, what I'm going to do now is move the box to the side, and let's see if everything's there. Okay. Um. Okay. It says. I chose the items within as I wanted to share with you the interesting history, folklore and magic that these curiosities have to offer. So it says Hawthorne, um, which I'm guessing is, now it's got a bit of information but it's going to take a bit of time to read. So in the box, that was the Hawthorne in the box. Um, I don't know if it, it just says horse on. I don't know if it says anything else that was in there. Um, might have to have a read after. So I'm still trying to figure out what these are. Is there something stems? I don't know what letter that is. So like, I'm not sure. Et prison stems? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Still don't know. But um, yeah. So it says horse on, which is in there. And they got volcanic glass. Mm. Oh, so the crystal's volcanic glass, but also known as obsidian. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Uh, oh, fossil crinoid stems. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, the things I couldn't figure out, these. Um, it says fossil crinoid stems. Okay, um, it does say something about it, but it's quite a bit to read, so, um, but if anyone knows what they are as well, um, ah, what, ah, wow, um, okay, so it's just telling me what's in this actual box, so what's seen on the back is what's in this box, so like the Hawthorne, and this is Volcanic Glass, which is Obsidian as well. And then, as I said, the fossil crinoid stems. And then, you know the little thing in here that looks like teeth? It is fossil shark's tooth charm. That's, wow. I am, like, I've, I mean, I've never really get those sort of fossil things. I think I might have to start collecting some, like, bones and uh, fossil things. Um, there is quite a bit to read about this, otherwise it's going to be a longer video if I read this, so maybe I could read it, um, so bear with me, it's going to be a bit of information about it. So first thing, we're going to read about Hawthorne. So the Hawthorne, um, I don't know if you can see that, um, a sacred tree in many religions and cultures with a vast historic lore, symbolism and magical meaning. In Germanic lore, Hawthorne symbolized death and was used in funeral pyres. When in Celtic lore, Hawthorne is said to be a gateway between our world and the fairy realm. And cutting down a Hawthorne tree would result in bad luck. In parts of Europe, it was used to protect against vampires and, and the ancient Greeks associated Hawthorne with love. Oh, sorry, the ancient Greeks associated Hawthorne with love, marriage and fertility. Hawthorne is still believed that Hawthorne is a strong magic and protective plant. 
The dried leaves and berries you find in this box would make an excellent ward that may be sprinkled across boundaries or burned as incense to protect from evil and unwanted energy or used in love and fertility rituals. So that is good to know. I never knew that. Now I've got them. Okay, some more information on the oh sorry, volcanic glass, <coughs> which is the obsidians. Um, so um, <laughs> I try to figure how. Well, I'm just going to hold one of them. So one of these. <clears throat> it says volcanic glass, also known as obsidian. This ingenious rock is formed with molten lava form a uh, volcano cools rapidly. The sharp nature of obsidian makes excellent tools and deadly weapons that have been used throughout history. Since the Paleolithic age, they are even still used today in surgical tools as the blades can be made so sharp that it leaves, leaves minimal scarring, aside from being made into arrowheads, blades, homewares and drawing. Obsidian has also been used in healing, witchcraft and spirituality since ancient times to protect, <coughs> heal and scry. To Mayans and Aztecs, obsidian was a valuable stone and they believed it had powers. Obsidian slabs were polished into mirrors that were used to see into the future. <coughs> the Elizabethan alchemist and a courtist John D used an obsidian mirror to talk to angels. And obsidian scrying mirrors are still used in fortune telling to this day. Obsidian is a perfect stone for protection, grounding, and definition. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so now. Okay, the fossil crinoid stems is these. Um. um also known sea lilies, crinoids, were marine animals that existed 300 million years before dinosaurs. Some species are still found in seas today. Before the origin of these fossils was truly understood, they were a thing of curiosity. And so folk lore developed. Once called victory stones, they were believed to bring victory to anyone who wore or carried them. <laughs> they were also thought to be fairy money and even believed to come from the head heads of dragons. It is still believed that if carried on your person crinoids will help you enjoy inner stability, vote courage and can be grounded. Okay that's also good to know. Um then uh the um little key charm um fossil sharp tooth charm at least 10 million years old, this charm was once a part of a prehistoric shark toothy grin, turned to stone, unnerved, wire wrapped and by hand and adorned with a skull. It is now yours to treasure. Before the understanding of fossilization, these fossils were once called tongue stones and believed that they were... Um, sorry, I lost my words. Uh, where was I reading? Sorry, I've got lost while I was reading. Hold on. Um, uh, I believe that they were the petrified tongues of dragons and snakes. They were used as a remedy to poisons and toxins. Today, it's believed that the shark's tooth will bring the wearer protection and strength. Okay, cool. So that's good stuff to know all of that, because... Even though I probably won't remember much of it, I'd have to read and read it over and over again to keep it in my head. That's the thing with um, when I was like reading, like see, I've just read that, and none of that will be in my head. I might have just read it, but I could probably read it loads of times and it won't stay in my head. Maybe like certain little points I might remember, but it's like reading a book. Like sometimes I think, what's the point of reading a book? I ain't gonna rem remember any of it. So, yeah. Anyway, that is everything, well, in this little box. Because um, I think that's all it says is what's on here. So, but that's good because I never knew that. So, so I'm just going to go for everything. So, there's obviously the print with the information. And obviously the little box of oddities and curiosities. And you've got the coffee, coffee blend. 
the nail polish, the um, I forgot what it's called, um, <laughs> uh, eyebrow pluckers, and then the nail files, and oh yes, the plant pot which is in here, plant pot, and then you've got the bag as well. So. So that was everything in this month, sorry, last month's November for Cult Box, which was called Beautifully Macarb, Macarb, I don't know how you say it, but yeah, um, I, I do like this box, something a bit different and definitely love it actually, um, if I had to choose a favourite item, oh, I don't know, um, to be honest, I think I like this little box of curiosities because that is good to know or something I didn't know. So I definitely do like that. And plus I do like the little plant pot thing as well. I like to use for stuff and like the bag as well. So it's all really nice. So yeah, um, that's everything for this last month's box. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye lovelies.